Med school, yo. <laughs> Med school is no joke. All jokes aside. Okay. Let's just get started. Why don't we? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Gabbyology. You are here with Gabby from our old subscribers, Gabbyology fam. What up? Um, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing, especially if you're at all interested in medical school. Um, and in medicine. So in this video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to do a reaction video to my first exam in medical school. Wow, I can't believe I'm saying those words right now. So I'm basically gonna go over how I study for the exam, all my sentiments leading up to the exam, during the exam, and after the exam, and also if I passed or fails, because you know, everyone wants to know that. That's important, right? All right, so question number one, how did I study for the exam? So you essentially start studying for any med school exam, any exam, in med school from day one of the material that you you get so I made study guides and outlines which I explained last time in my video for everything these are my outlines I have like 800 pages worth of notes right now just sitting down you know for the first four weeks why not it's med school um and also what really helped me study for the exam was just writing out every single thing that I needed to do for every single subject so I did it for like microbio molecular bio genetics immunology and just crossing it out as I go to make sure I'm holding myself accountable for the material. And like for me personally, I need to review material three or four times before I learn it. I need to know the material to feel comfortable before I take any exam. And I also did it for our other two classes, which is FRM, which is like our um, first year immersion course um, in like ethics, legal and social justice topics. And also I did it for my POM, which is our practice of medicine course, which really explores the clinical aspects of medicine. Um, and then I also set like a little section for practice on my list and I put quizzes that I wanted to go over or do. Um, there was a whole bunch of resources that my school provided, so I was grateful for that. I didn't get to go through everything, but as long as I went through the material, I really felt comfortable for the exam. Comfortable enough at least. How prepared can you really be? You don't know, it's med school. <laughs> okay, second question. How did I feel leading up to the exam? Leading up to the exam, I was terrified. The week before, me and my roommate went to church and I was at the altar crying. Like, I couldn't do it. I was like, med school is just not for me. Like, this is too much. Like, it's actually so overwhelming and the transition from undergrad to med school is like, how am I supposed to do anything else but study? And I feel like now after the exam is over and I found out my score, like, I can see how it's possible to do it all. But when you first come in, totally different like just the studying every day and have and being responsible to know that information and knowing that you're learning this information not for the short term it's for long term for treating another human being for learning how to fix another person or like helping them heal it's just it's magnificent med school is no joke how did i feel during the exam during the exam i was like all right this is cool like i felt like i studied little details a lot and also like a lot of pathways and mechanisms and stuff like that and you really just needed to know the broad picture so i'm happy that i was able to review my material so much that i was able to answer those questions and know it like that so i felt really confident during the exam like i had no doubt in my mind that i didn't pass to really experience that a great feeling and during the exam i was just tired like it was long it was 125 questions and it was like clinical vignette style so we would have paragraphs of like okay a patient comes into the ed they present with this this and this you have this, you know, this information, what do you do, essentially? Um, and all of our questions were structured like that, whether it was to answer a pathway question about biochem or whether it was to answer something about like a bacteria or virus or whatever the case may be. Um, so that was also a little bit different from like undergrad where we don't really get these scenario-based questions. So how did I feel after the exam? I needed to go to the bathroom so many times. <laughs> It was cold in the room, like take breaks during the exam, especially if you feel like you need it. Um, and I'm also a fast test taker, so for me, I was so tired that like when I had to review all my answers, I got up to number 70 and I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like, I'm not doing this. I'm so tired. But like, next time I know, like I would want to review my exam. It's good to just like check over your mistakes and see where you went wrong. Or like sometimes you answer a question so fast, like instinctual, and it's not the answer. So that's my problem personally. I need to learn to just slow down. Did I pass or fail? I passed. <laughs> I passed. I passed. I passed. And I'm so happy all my friends that I spoke to also passed. So that just that's just a really great feeling too. Like you could share your accomplishments and your joy with other people. Um, my school is pass fail, so that's really dope. And regardless of how you do, we all pass. So we all eat together. You know what I'm saying? And I did really well, so I surprised myself. Like, damn, it really shows you that the work that you put in and even though the journey is ridiculous, it's ridiculous to get there. The reward is is it's satisfactory you know like you're gonna see 
all the work you put in, all your hard work is gonna pay off in the end. So you just have to keep pushing and keep trying because I already know that transition from undergrad to here is crazy. It's literally crazy, but I'm so happy because now this is setting the tone for the rest of the semester and I'm like, all right, I got this. I got a handle on it. Like, I still want to be a doctor. Like, I still want to do this and I know I'm capable of doing it and that feeling is, it feels great. So, like, thank you guys so much for watching my reaction to exam one. If I could leave you guys with one piece of advice is that the journey is always tougher and the end is always sweet. The journey's hard, you're going to have a sweet reward. Reward in the end is going to be so sweet. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.